Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Captain of Industry, picking up where we left off. Let me unpause the game. We're gonna work on copper production, and then kind of as that's taking place, we're going to keep sending our ship out. Right now, it is being repaired, so can't do much there. Let's get back to it. Uh, let's see. It occurs to me, I want to make sure that we're far enough over. When we're finally done with this, we may cut and move it, cut and paste, move it over to the right. I want to make sure we can mine all of this um, copper out without having to worry about the sides falling in and stuff. So we'll move this over to the right quite a bit by the time we're done. So, so far, we're, <laughs> we're not real far, but we have our uh, blast furnace level two. Got the recipe selected. We have belts to bring in the coal, the sand, and the... Um, crushed copper. We're going to need to do crushed copper too. And my goal for this build out is just to produce copper. I'm not worried about how that copper is going to get used. I'm not going to match it one-to-one -one with electronic parts, um, at least not initially. So let's see what's next. We're going to get 48 molten copper. I think we need these guys next, right? Our metal casters. And I don't think there are newer versions of those. Let's see. Metal casters. Oh, there is a, there is a new version. 24 gets us 24 impure. Pool caster is for steel, steel. Metal caster. Okay. 24 to 24. What does this guy put out? 48. Yeah. So it's a two, Two to one again. That makes sense. And let's see how I did it last time. So I cozy these guys up right next to each other. That seems reasonable. Um, curious if I could make it a little more symmetric. <clears throat> I'll show you a little less um less wide. What if what if we did something like this it was kind of weird how that dropped down. I kind of moved this move the screen when I did that uh and that. I need room for my exhaust, room for my slag to come out. Um, this guy, oops, escape. You're putting out 48. The molten channel, out of the way. Molten channel holds 120. I don't need both of these, I don't think. Uh, let's use the inner one. Molten channel, you. Kind of like that idea. These have both recipes selected by default. That's what we want. Out comes the impure copper, and then we need to run that through electrolysis, right? There's probably another one. An upgraded one of these, too. This takes... Takes in 24. Uh, we can tell if there's an upgrade button. Hmm. Maybe there isn't an upgraded copper electrolysis. I don't see it. Copper electrolysis. Takes 24, spits out 24. These guys are going to kick out 24. Let's look in the tech tree and see if there's one. There might be. We're kind of in this area. Hydrogen production. Looking for more metal processing kind of stuff. Probably right in front of me. Ship weapons, mega vehicles, chemical plant, hydrogen production. 
Uh, it might actually show in the recipe list if there's a process that we haven't unlocked yet. Let's try. Uh, and we want, yeah, we want regular copper. That's all consumption. All right. 24 and 24 looks like that's it. Copper electrolysis. You can do it with acid, I guess. With acid, you get a better yield. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, you get a better yield with acid. Let's see what it takes to make acid. Don't think I want to go after this right now. Sulfur and water. Hmm. Uh, we'll keep that in mind for later. We'll go with water now. We can always switch over to acid later. Um, acid, yeah, is just sulfur. And sulfur we get as a byproduct or we can mine it. Sulfur, we can get it from sour water. Or we can get it from processing exhaust, which we will be doing later. We're going to start with water, then we'll see if we can convert over later. All right, but it looks like we need two to one, unfortunately, for that, at least initially. So let's see what that's going to look like. Where are you? Two to one. So each of these... Just trying to think of how we can do this so I can get an array of these to scale. I might want to drop this back. Um, or we could do the same thing. These can both dump on the same belt. Hmm. Uh, that's for the outputs on the left. Copper goes in, water goes in. Just thinking here for a second, 420. How could we do? Twenty-four. That's going to be a regular conveyor. We'll do it. We'll handle the output from both of these, and we could fork into this one and fork into another one. Combine the outputs. We have water and acid. That might be nice to have mirror imaged. So what I mean is, can I flip this? Oh, that's awesome. In planning mode, you can select it and flip it. So that guy there. Let's grab another one here. This is what I mean by mirror imaging these things. Um, and it's just one input for the liquid. Mm -hmm. That would want to be wider in case we have a raised pipe coming through. Uh, we'll see. This design could evolve. But the idea would be belt coming out of here. Uh, it can be a regular conveyor, too. Uh, you're not going to want to hug this, are you? Maybe not. Don't know. I think I've got to come out by one, right? Hmm, I can't see my inputs on these other guys. So say that's there. This guy connects up there. Um, what's the problem here? Why 
is that guy complaining? Not connected. Okay, this is our impure copper coming out. Same thing here. It doesn't seem to want to... What's the issue, fellas? Let's take that out and see what's going on. I don't know if this is just some kind of artifact of planning mode or what. That's output. My conveyor. You out to here. That should be happy. You into this. Okay, it's happy now. You all the way down to here. Into there. Into there. Those guys are all happy. There's our copper going into the electrolysis. Got one big long row. That's kind of the, the goal here. And then we need to worry about slag needs a way out of here. Um, if I move all this down, then slag could go up. We could raise a belt with the slag. And then the pollution pipe, we're also going to want to process that pollution going forward too. So let's, can I cut and paste? Can I move this down a bit. Belts, uh, molten channel rather. Slag, I'm picturing on a, some type of raised conveyor. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Um, U-shaped conveyor. Too, too far up, too high. I have to push back even further. Um, I'm not. Hmm. Not super worried about vehicles being able to cut through this way. I'm trying to leave an avenue for them to come down these long rows if they have to. Shouldn't probably ever have to, but that's kind of what I'm designing for. It looks like I'm going to need to go back a row because I want to run this pollution, the exhaust up through a pipe as well. So let's escape out of that. Uh, let's take a break. Go look at the ship. It's probably repaired now. So we're going to try and do a couple things at once. How's everything looking? Maintenance is okay. Fuel's okay. Not great. It's holding steady. Unity is climbing up. We've got an upper limit on Unity of 194. So I'm trying to save up some. Ship is now repaired. Uh, I kind of want to find like the fruit. I want to just explore basically. Let's, there's some stuff over this way we could be doing. Limestone quarry, we could repair that and then go fight an enemy. What about doing that? How are we doing on construction part three? It's 145. Oof. Workers, we have 10 workers. Let's see if we can bone up on the um, construction part three production. That's where. That is, I know it when I see it, up here. They are waiting on construction part twos, so let's ramp up that production. That's six workers there. And then I probably need to start sending in construction part ones. Let's unpause that. Uh, we can recruit, we'll spend some unity, recruit some workers if we can. There's seven, we'll take them. There's another seven. There's five. And do we have any other colonies we can bother bar, borrow from? Not bother. There's six there. And what about you? Nothing. All right. I think it's 26 workers. Let's kick up more of this stuff. Um, these guys. 
we'll replenish our supply of construction part ones. And these construction part ones will go directly into construction part two production. Eleven workers. Let's turn on one more of these. I think electronic parts has recovered a bit, quite a bit. That was on pause. Yeah, we're not backed up yet, but um, yeah, this we're starting to have more electronic parts. It looks like underneath here. There's some storage for those. Here's storage. So this one's backed up. That's good to see. And there's another storage up here, I think. These guys are starting to back up. So that's all good. So these guys should have a steady supply. They will feed their stuff down into here. And maybe, do we have enough workers for one more of these? We don't. Let's do it anyway. Unpause that guy. We're short one worker. What can we pause? How about one of these cement mixers? Boom. In fact, we can upgrade one of these and it's a little more efficient. Although it's going to take more workers to run it. Let's hold off on that. Glass mix looks like it's fine. We can pause that. And we have eight workers. Can always make some more salt. All right. So let's go back to the map. Now that we have construction part threes kind of ramped up a little bit, what else could we do? Maybe do two things in one trip is what I'm thinking. Mm, I don't want to spend the money on that. We'd like to repair this and then go fight. Uh, let's go explore this other community. Might get something out of that. It's a long trip. Keep him busy. Uh, when he gets back, maybe we can go fetch oil. Yeah, we've got plenty. Back to it. Uh, I don't really care about much of that right now. I want to kind of stay focused on what I'm doing. It's fine if they sit idle for a bit. I, I guess I could put them on copper. Nah, I'm not going to bother. All right. We were about to move this back a little bit. Let's do it. Cut. Molten channel. Boom, boom. And then basically I want these belts... Escape out of that. The slag. U shaped conveyor. I want you up. It's fine. So we have one extra distance. We could have saved one square on this build, but that's fine. That's our slag being routed somewhere to be dumped. Probably going to go the other direction, actually. It's probably come over this way. I don't know. We'll see. Decide that later. And then I want the exhaust, actually. Um, eventually, I want to process this. How much do we get? 35, 36 per cycle. Take a look at the recipes for exhaust. See what we can do with it. There's anything soon that we can do to consume it. Uh, there's the sulfur we were talking about for making acid, right? Oh man, ratios. I don't want to calculate all that stuff out. Um, but 180 exhaust along with some water gets a sulfur steam low, which we can put into. Hmm. Steam low. Can we generate energy off of that? I thought, I thought there was a way. Used to be. I 
Where would that be? Yeah, I thought there used to be a turbine, a low power turbine. or There it is, low pressure turbine. Steam low, then we get 48 steam depleted. That's kind of neat. <clears throat> so let's assume we're going to do something with that and we just want to pipe it for the time being. So let's grab hmm, pipe threes. That's tempting, but let's start with pipe twos. Basically, I want to run this right underneath. That looks like the right height. But, um, I need to do this maybe in two steps. Cool. <clears throat> I like it. Crushed copper comes in, sand comes in, coal comes in, molten comes out. Single molten channel, which can handle the load, dumps into casters. Those guys dump out in the same belt that can handle the load. Comes down, goes into electrolysis. And then there needs to be, this may need to be separated. Uh, we need to feed in water or, water or acid. And I think trucks can get under this, right? That's the max height. That is the lowest I think that our level one trucks can get under. But I don't think these pipes are going to make the climb. Um, without it looking goofy, we could. I'm okay with that, actually. Okay with that. That keeps things a little closer together. Again, I'm not looking for trucks to go through this way. I'm trying to preserve it so trucks can get through this long way if they need to, all the way through. That means these belts need to be reworked so we don't have so many pillars. Um, that's not bad. That's something I can kind of duplicate, right? Quite a bit. We're going to get super high capacity belts and things. Uh, where are those? Right there, because the conveyor belts, 450 units per minute. And it gets us, yeah, same thing with the U-shaped conveyors. Pipes, we already have the high-level pipes. That's all cool. These mega vehicles, they can't go under anything, I don't think. So I'm not worried about those moving around here. We may get to that soon, or at some point. All right, location explored, what do we get? We discovered a settlement, electronics and microchips, not so great. I mean, it's good, but who cares? Let's increase our reputation with this settlement. Maybe it will get us, um, maybe it'll get us the ability to recruit more people. While well, we're saving up parts for that, let's unload this crew and unpause this. Boom, 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 boom. Their oil production is shut down. Waiting on oil, in fact. While we have the extra workers, let's pick this up. Uh, can we get one more? I don't think so. Not quite. That's fine. And then let's load the cargo for the settlement. What did that take? Yeah, it did. And we're fully upgraded, right? Did I do the extra fuel tank? I think I did. More plating guns for sure. Engine. Yeah, I think everything's upgraded. As far as we can. We're currently researching ship armor plus four. I've only got one research lab running. I'd like to run two, but it's just it's kind of a people issue. Running short on people. How are construction part threes looking? Getting what you need? Not really. They need more construction part twos. And this guy needs more construction part ones, it looks like. Can we turn on some more of this with the workers we've got? And... 
Yeah, let's do it. Let's max this out. We're not going to run our main flagship for a bit. That'll all go back to our copper setup. Man, this is huge. That looks pretty good. Then we get copper, right? So that's going to be just normal. Uh, we can go conveyor twos. And how do we want to, what do, how do we want to connect this all up? Maybe another raised belt? And then they just kind of connect up. Hmm. Curious. Let's see, we had a real tall belt coming through here. Boom. Can I connect up to that without it looking horrible? Not really. I push it back. Kind of don't want to push out further wide than what we have, but I guess this this belt's sticking out. Can we maybe something like that would do? Again, I'd have to rework this with the pillars so it doesn't look as horrible. And then this guy could just. Travel around here a little low underneath that pipe. Can we go one higher or not? Doesn't look like it. Without interfering. No, I think that would cause it to run into that pipe. It's fine. It can stay low. All right, let's take a look. That would allow clear pathing through here. Again, I got to fix these pillars. Same thing here. And then I could just tile this thing, right? Pretty, pretty far, actually, I would think. With the increased higher capacity pipes and higher capacity conveyors. I think we could get quite a few tiled. Maybe the all the copper we would need out of this is set up. Let's go take a look at our oil tanker, see how it's doing. Did it drop off yet? I don't think so. Oh, man. That's actually holding up our production. Here it comes. It's got two more trips he can make, so we'll just let that thing run. I said there's other stuff lagging. Maintenance is holding up. Fuel's okay. Workers are okay. Health seems okay. Unity is climbing. We've got time to do this. I think that's just about it, though. We just need to clean up the belts. We don't have 75 pillars per inch. That, yeah. Let's see what we can do about that. 
Those pillars don't really matter, but they're just hideous. <laughs> Man. Uh, how can we do so that this can be tiled? So I think just work through it. This one's got to go. Or at least that little segment does. And then these two got to go. Um, looks like the top belt needs to go. This pillar stayed. I thought that was going to go away. Didn't. What's the top? That's going to be a U-shaped, I think, right? Be nice to keep the pillar like right where this belt is. Okay, we need to take this whole belt off, it looks like. Don't ask me. There we go. Hmm. I don't want the pillars on the inside, right? Oh yeah, there's another one that needs to go in the middle here. Let's do it. Uh, this one is an up level one, level two. In the last belt, let's go all the way up. This guy's complaining. So maybe I need to run that whole belt again. Don't know why, but we'll do it. I see. You might want me to do it from this direction. <laughs> now I got all my pillars back. Uh, that's fine. They're on the inside. That's not really where I'm worried about having pillars. Crazy about how it looks, but I don't think there's a good way for me to get around that. Unless I move this all one closer. I'm not going to bother. All right. That looks cool. Now let's see if I could actually tile this thing. Cut it and paste it. Uh, copy actually in. with enough room, like I said, for trucks to go in between. All right, what is that? That is belt to belt there. It's one, two, three, four, five apart. That's six apart. Let's do you six apart. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Just moved last minute. All right. Wiggled at the last second there. I want six apart. One, two, three, four, 
five, six clicks. And then I just want to see if these belts, what we're going to get with the, um, with the pillars. What a drag. That's not making me too happy. To. This is our finished copper product belt. I start right on you. It's okay. That's okay. Trucks, whoop. Trucks have to be able to get through that, right? That's w wide open. Copper comes out, boom. This copper comes out, meets up with this. Um, this pipe is exhaust, or is this the water? No, this is acid or water coming through. Nothing there. So those could have been right up next to each other. Not a big deal. This is our exhaust coming through on this one. Uh, let's see. Looks like we have an opportunity to get rid of a pillar. Boom. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, let's try it. I'm going to take it back one more, this little pipe. Yeah, I think we're going to be stuck with a, a pillar. That's nice and wide. No problem. Trucks can get through here easy peasy if they need to. And then this little oversight. <laughs> I might need to put a ramp. Uh, that's a bit of an oversight if we want trucks to get through. I don't know that trucks will need to get through. I'm just um, just thinking it wouldn't hurt if they could. Um. That's our molten. I think that has to stay on the ground. So not much we can do about trucks getting through there. This we could allow trucks through this way. In theory, right? We have to pull this back a little and then raise this up and come back down. And then we'd have the opportunity for trucks to be able to traverse across this array. That might be worth doing. That might be worth doing. Or we could just make the whole thing shorter. We can't have them right next to each other because we do have the output of the finished copper plates right here. This belt has to stick out this way. But we could move this back a little and raise that belt up and then back down. And then we'd have a path through this mess. I think that's worth doing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cut. And stuff out of here. Probably a lot more space than I need. Uh, we'll see. Uh, this is going to be never that much, right? Okay, three times the increased. Its throughput is three times the increased compared to the previous tier. 200 per 60. 60 per 60, yeah. We don't, it doesn't need to be fast because these guys aren't, they're not going to be putting it out fast. Okay. You... That's a lot of room for trucks to get through. In fact, we could, could go with ramps instead. 
every two if we wanted to. Um, let me just entertain that thought for a second. We did a ramp in between. I could run those belts underneath it and then anything can get through, cut through this, this way. Um, no, that's going to prevent trucks from going the long way then, right? It would. That's of no use to us. I'm just thinking the big heavy excavators or something, if we needed them to move, I doubt it. Doubt that's a concern. We can do it somewhere else where there's not so much going on. The big heavy trucks, yeah, I just don't think we need to worry about it. But I think this can come a little closer. Let's do it. I think it can come a little closer than what I've got. At least one. One block closer. Try that. Boom. Up. Crossed. Down. Same thing over here. Boom, boom and down, take it, I'll take it. That pillar could have gone over one more to the right, don't care. That's not bad. In fact, we could start with this exact thing, but again, I'm tempted to move it over a little bit. I want to be able to mine deep and not have to worry about doing those um, special wall supports or whatever. I also don't think I care about covering up the oil. Not too worried about it at all. Let's move this guy up and to the right. And then I think it's done. We'll give it another once over. We need to, um, we do need to figure out how we're going to do the, these guys, the sand, the coal and the crushed copper and how we're going to crush the copper itself. I don't know if we want to incorporate that into this design or not, but let's move this over first. Boom. I think it needs to go up this way. Okay. Let's get rid of the layers. Uh, give it one more little once over here. Okay. Finish copper plates and yeah, copper plates. These are mirror images of each other. Water or acid goes in. Impure copper comes in through this belt. Impure copper comes out. Molten copper goes in. Boom, boom. Exhaust comes out and across, and slag comes up and across. Uh, that needs to be connected. Of course, it's going <laughs> to want to put down more pillars. Oh, man. Oh, man. The pillars, the pillars, pillars, the pillars. Drive me crazy. That looks good. Need to do the same thing here. Uh, no, we don't need to do the same thing there. Just here for slag, connecting those two. So that looks good. Let's go check the oil again real quick. See what's going on. Looks like we're filling up. The truck is out there, or the ship, and the truck, the ship is out there. And what's our supply look like? Oh, he's got 
plenty. Yeah, at least one more load to bring. Depending on where he's at. Here he comes. Yeah, he can do do another one. Fuel is okay. Looks like we're making it. Let's check on our construction part level threes. Those are here. This is not backed up by any means. They're still waiting on construction part twos. I don't have enough workers. Let's see if we can recruit because this guy's... Oh, that only takes six. Yeah, that guy's ready to produce. So construction parts are full on right now. Looks like our concrete slabs are lacking, right? That production is on. We could upgrade this. Uh, it's going to take more workers, but it's going to be slightly more efficient than running two. Let's do it. Uh, we'll do a quick deliver on that. Unity's looking good, 129. We're still accumulating. Maintenance is holding steady at 95. Uh, this guy looks like he has all the ingredients he needs. Sand's probably getting low. We might want to get somebody on sand. I have this crew doing it. Not the big crew, but this little tiny crew. Uh, they can do some more. Let's level this off to level two. Mining designation flat. Level two, you guys can probably take quite a bit. Go for it. I think there's a lot of room in that storage, and there's a little room in this one. Uh, three workers left. That takes five. Let's recruit some more. There's ten right there. Let's get one of these concrete mixers on. Salt is full. We could have saved workers from there. Uh, that all looks good. How is rubber doing while we're over here thinking about things? Rubber is great. We can turn off that. What could we put workers on? We could do the research lab. That's going to take our unity into the negative, I think. But let's try it. Let's try it. 30. We need 30 workers for this. Nah, forget it. <clears throat> Surprised to see that. Although, we have a ton of lab equipment threes. Well, maybe we could save up some workers here. There's eight more. Another eight. That gets us to 34. Let's burn through some of our supply of lab equipment threes or whatever. Yeah, that'll run. And we're still in the positive on Unity. And that'll accelerate our research a little bit. All very good. There goes our ship to get another load. There's 3,000 waiting, and we get almost 2,000 per load. So, again, at least one more trip he can do, and then he'll be sitting waiting. All right, back to this land. It's taking forever, but we need... Um, we need great big storages. Loose storage. We're about to get an upgrade on this too. Uh, where is that? Right here. It's after the ship armor, I think. We're going to get these <laughs> large level two storage. Hopefully they're the same footprint, the same size. 4,320 units each. This guy, yeah. So double. What I was thinking of here is could we do these... Like along the side here. Try to preserve this this way through. Maybe three would probably fit here. One, two, three kind of thing. To feed the sand, the coal, and the um the crushed copper. Let's think about that for a second. These guys can do thirty-six crushed copper minute. Let's look at our little crusher guy, wherever that is.
Okay, Crusher does 36 per minute too, right? So it's a one to one with our Blast Furnace twos. 36 a minute, 36 a minute. I was thinking maybe, hmm, the crushing takes place over here. The crushed copper belt comes up, somehow loops around and feeds a loose storage here somewhere. I hope that makes sense. Probably doesn't. Okay, finished product comes out the left if we do that. Terrain too low. I must have hit the E, the... Yeah. These keys. We could do something like three of these next to each other. Fed by a big giant hopper. Let's just, uh, let's start drawing <laughs> and see where it comes, where things shake out. So here's our copper orc being coming in, probably belted somehow, but comes in here somewhere. With me. Let me do the crusher first. Although I need to be able to raise a belt out of this crusher. Hmm. How are we going to do that? There's the finished product coming out that way. I'm not in the way there. So let's do one, two. Okay, and then big giant storage. Or uh, let me, before we even do that, let's run this belt. So this is going to put out, yeah, 36 times 3. So we're going to need the bigger loose U shaped conveyor. So you are not going to want to connect up. Are you probably going to have to go back one more? What I want to do is run this belt down this way, loop around and then start climbing up and be right next to this belt, right next to that one could go underneath it. But since this thing is ramped, that's going to be harder to do. I think I just need to move these back one. Show you what I'm thinking. Yeah, that might do it. Inputs are at the bottom. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, I can barely see those arrows arrows with my eyes, but I'll do you all along the ground. Then you come around. Come up. Um, that can be actually a little one. Then big, super huge copper storage. We're probably going to be Melting in from that direction, right? So maybe we can make it work that way, just like this. You could get a little closer. Um, but that's might do it. Of course, now that I try and rotate the camera, that throws off my alignment, but that's okay. Could get you even closer. Try that. Uh, and then basically we do U-shaped conveyor, big size. Um, and just the opposite of the other side, just like the other side, but. Oh, you have to go up high, huh? Oh, that worked. We'll take it. My 
I connected the way I think I am? I guess I am. All right, so this becomes our copper ore. Copper ore comes in. Crush, crush, crush. Crushed copper ore dumps out onto this U-shaped conveyor, goes up and over here. And then what happens? I'm envisioning three more of these big hoppers. One with the crushed, one with the coal, one with the sand. That's kind of what I'm picturing. I guess they would all be facing, and I want to keep this area for you free if we can. Big old storage. It'd be nice if they lined up with the other one. Might need to push that one back. A hair. That looks like it's right. Uh, is there enough room for me to have belts climb? One on the ground. No, there's not. I think this has to come back. Uh, it's going to be close. Just visioning how the belts are going to come off of these three storages I'm putting down. And then connect up with the stacked belts over on the left of our smelting array. Left side there. One on the ground. The next one needs room to climb and isn't going to be able to climb. I don't think. This might. Let's try it. That's that guy. We say, hey, you are a belt on the ground. So... U-shaped conveyor, you come out there and you connect up to here. You need to change the direction of that conveyor on the bottom. Escape out of this. Reverse you, reverse you. The same thing here. Reverse. Toggle that direction. Simple U-shaped conveyor just puts those guys together. Then we get the next big storage. Um, doesn't matter what it is. Now the question is, can this climb up? You need to go up. Not like that. Kind of assumed it was up in the air. It wasn't. You need to go up. Turn off the snapping. Basically, you are going to meet up with this guy. But I want you stacked on here. So something like this. You are not high enough. That kind of thing, right? So that's sander or um hole. And we need one more of these guys. Uh, it looks like we're separated by roughly three-ish. One, two, I don't know, something like that. And now you need to make a big old climb. Can you do it? Probably not the way I want you to. What if I take you back here? Show you what I'm thinking. This guy up. You need to go all the way up and find your way over there. Ah, uh, that's ugly. Do it. Hmm. Let's give it a try from this far one. I don't know if there's enough rim to 
get up there. That I could accept that. I could accept that, I think. She could say you don't really need this phase or this one. If this is, say this is the crushed copper, you might not need to put that in a hopper. You could just rely on the output of these. Um, I kind of like having a cache of stuff though. Like if this whole line backs up, then this hopper is going to fill. And if we were tight on workers, I could shut these three guys down and we'd still have a lot of crushed copper already made to process into good copper. So yeah, what would we want this to be? Um, this has to be the crushed copper or has to, be, yeah, has to be crushed copper. That is copper. This could be either sand or coal. They're both going to be coming in from mines. Coal, in theory, <laughs> it's never going to happen. Coal could come from up here. I mean, I intend to get to this island here, but um, it won't be a while. So coal could be coming from the top. So let's make that one the coal. It's going to be a long, long time before that has a chance of happening. But we'll do it. Not enough workers, says I'm short. Um, we got to check food supplies here too. And then this guy ends up being the sand. Not bad. Let's check on everything. Food. Food's doing good. It's starting to, starting to collect more. Uh, ship. As soon as he drains. Oh, what's, oh, I'm short workers. So that's holding, holding things up. Let's take down some of this. I think we have. Oh, what's going on? Look at what? <laughs> We're out of sand or something. What's going on? Uh, this. Boom. Oh, we're not, um, <laughs> we're not mining rock. So my crusher doesn't have anything to crush. All right. All right. That's not a problem because what we can do to get bricks going again is I can unpause the belt. that has got a bunch of bricks on it. Boom. And I can turn on one of my brick makers. Hurt workers, that's fine. We've got an abundance of people not doing anything right here. Um, yeah, we can use the dirt bricks for a bit until we get the mining going again, uh, which I'm going to need to do. How is sand is looking okay? We actually can mine more sand. Looks like he got done with that. Area. Let's add another little plot of sand. Not you. Someday we'll get back to that. Edit area. You can do this. Clear off all this mining designation. That's all done. And let's get some new mining designations to get sand going at least. That'll put that guy back to work. I don't know if he's going to loop around or if he's going to go all the way back to the tower and then do it. Rock. We'll get to that next episode. We'll get that going again. The terraforming a little bit. Uh, this guy should be empty, emptying out and then he'll go run off and get another load. Diesel's accumulating. We have the terraforming on hold just to basically accumulate more, um, more fuel here. That's kind of why I'm doing it. Unity is actually climbing. We got our armor. Nice. Let's see. Let's queue up that upgrade and then we'll call it. Uh, where are you? Armor plating two. Continue. That's nothing. 200 steel. I think we're good on steel. Yeah. 1100. Is there two options for armor plating? I think there might be. There might be two upgrades we have to do there. Oh man, that's cool. Although every time we do an upgrade, it seems like the crew size gets bigger. 
which makes it a little harder to send the ship out. But food's doing good. Um, we do have more workers coming in. Pollution's not great. Unity's okay. Uh, we're about to unleash this thing, get this going. I will probably get these terraformers going next episode. Um, and we might set this thing loose to be constructed. I think we're just about there. I mean, these belts have to be connected. And ideally, we would belt that coal from way far away because we've been delivering it with truck trucks the entire time. I have a bunch of coal here. We're eventually going to get rid of all of this, plow this thing down flat, get rid of all everything you see, basically. Um, but before we can really take these guys down, we're going to need to route these finished copper plates somewhere. Somewhere into massive warehouse, probably. These big guys. One or two or three of these together. And then from there, route out to, um, route out to a factory that's got access to rubber. So we can make electronics. But yeah, lots to do. We got a lot done. I know it's a little slow and tedious going through the plans, but kind of something that needs to get done. This looks scalable, and we could build this out at least one more row if we wanted to. Cut and paste it one more row. We have the crush three crushers. That's the limiter on how many we can scale. It's not going to be the belts, um, but I think with three of these going, that might hold us over for a long, long time. Um. If not, we can just duplicate it. So it looks fairly tileable. I like it. It's big profile, but big footprint, I should say, but that's fine. All right, that's it for this episode. Special thanks to GliderCat patrons and channel members. Really appreciate your support of the channel. Thanks to the few of you that have been giving suggestions. I read every one. So much to do, so many different ways to play this, but I do read and consider every suggestion. Uh, and thanks for those of you that have been giving the videos a thumbs up too. Appreciate that as well. And I'll see you all in the next episode.